Here's a song that will get your heart rate up. Every time I sing the word up, reach for the stars. Every time I sing the word down, touch the ground. The rest of the time, march with your knees high. Those magnificent men in their flying machines, they go up to the up, up, they... Welcome to the not-so-secret Hangar X at the McKenzie Municipal Airport in beautiful central British Columbia, Canada's most western province. This is where I'm assembling my Sea Ray LSX amphibious kit airplane. The kit arrived from its manufacturer, Progressive Aerodyne of Florida, on January 1st of this year. So far, myself and a few colleagues have put in 330 hours on what I estimate to be a thousand hour project ending in June of next year when the spirit will take flight if all goes as planned. So far it is and I'm really looking forward next week to going to Oshkosh, the big air show put on by the Experimental Aviation Association where there'll be uh, many of kindred spirit and 10,000 flying airplanes. I'm sure I'll get lots of ideas on how to move from this step where I am now to completion. Right now I am at a pretty significant milestone in that I'm waiting for the government inspector to come so that I can have my pre-cover inspection done. The wings, you can see their aluminum frames here and the other flying surfaces back there are aluminum frame and they get covered with a fabric. In addition, the fuselage hull is FRP and there's a turtle deck that's it right there, turned over, getting a carpet installed. That turtle deck goes on the back, enclosing that end of the fuselage. And there's a bow deck, which is located right over here, which goes on the front end of the airplane, covering that end. So the inspector as well has to do his pre-cover inspection before I can install those components. Over here in this corner of my hangar are my assorted belongings all crated up from my 10-year sojourn overseas haven't quite got the energy yet to open those boxes and see what it is i've been lugging around the world for the last 10 years and in this back corner of my hangar is a little enclosed workshop the sea ray lsx has a gross uh, takeoff weight of about 1505 pounds of which about 500 pounds is uh, available for cargo, including fuel and passengers. That's the 23 gallon plastic fuel tank located there under the boom behind the cockpit. 23 gallons will allow me to cruise at 95 miles an hour for about four hours. You can see that it's a two seater side by side with twin controls. That's the throttle and brake mechanism in the center. Sitting in that bulkhead frame there are the two electromechanical actuators that drive the main landing gear up and down and the tail wheel at the stern there under the rudder. I've been very impressed with the quality of the design and the components that have come from Progressive Aerodyne. It's basically been a matter of assembly for me, pretty straightforward using fairly conventional uh, tools that most people would have at home. Some exceptions include uh, an air rivet gun, which requires a small uh, air compressor, and then the assorted uh, riveting tools such as Clicos and Clico pliers. Um, but other than that, it's basically just taking standard household tools, lots of them, but uh, nonetheless, not anything exceptional. Anyway, I've really been enjoying building my plane so far, and I've had about 10 different colleagues and friends out here helping me, and they've been enjoying themselves too. We're in the uh, middle of the summer here in McKenzie, after a 
relatively mild winter. We rose down to about minus 25 in a hangar, so it was kind of slow going, especially when it came to using things like uh, contact cement. Um, and I've been deliberately planning all along that the fabric covering will be done in August. So the plan for the fall and winter is to get the avionics installed and the engine, which sits up there on that aluminum post. It'll be a Rotax 912 ULS flat four-cylinder water-cooled engine developing 100 horsepower. And the avionics will consist of an uh, engine and flight management computer and a GPS and maybe some conventional analog dials as well. And I'll uh, sort all that out, I think, when I'm down in uh, Oshkosh later this month. Anyway, the light is beckoning. Out the hangar door is the absolutely empty, under underutilized Mackenzie Municipal Airport. We have a 5,000 foot long hard surface runway and lots of relatively empty hangers and a totally empty apron today. Anyway, as I move further through my build, and certainly once I get flying, I'm looking forward to producing more videos like this, hopefully of a much higher uh, production quality. But we'll learn as we go, just as I've been doing with my flying so far, and certainly with building the spirit of Mackenzie. Bye for now. The flying machines, they go up to the up, up. They go down, to the down, down. They enchant all the ladies and see all the sea. With their up to the up up and their down to the down down Up and down, flying around, looping the